Hey gang, today we are taking a look at Transformer Cybertron Voyager class Menasaur and his little minicon Heavy Load. Now we'll put Heavy Load off to the side and take a look at Menasaur. Menasaur is this giant excavating machine. And this has to be one of the weirdest alt modes I have ever seen in the Transformers Unicron trilogy. It's just a completely weird, weird alt mode that really has no place in anything. I mean, you, the other uh, guy, giant Transformers from uh, the giant planet are a brick with a shovel and a giant cement mixer. And then this guy. Yeah. Um, all of these are just really, really strange. Now, in this mode, he can move his drill by pushing down and moving back and forth. The giant planet key is the one he comes with, but I just have an Earth one right here. And you plug it in to make... Lights and sounds. You can also spin this wheel up here up top to move the drill. On the other arm, you can plug in any Minicon into the port and push forward to deploy these grabbers and then move the Minicon back and forth for the drill action. Though if you push it all the way back, you gotta really pull. So get this thrusting drilling action going like that. Heavy Load can combine with Menasaur in vehicle mode by opening up the front plow and then Heavy Load slides right in and his little plow folds up on top of him, thereby giving him a bigger plow? I don't know, this is, this is kind of dumb. I don't really know why this is here. Menasaur's transformation is really, really easy. To start with, take the rear treads and just fold them straight out and then take these halves that are on the side of the vehicle mode and flip them down to form his hips. And then spin the rear treads around to form the legs and stand the figure up. Once you stand the figure up, fold down the front drills and then take the plow in the front, fold it back and then open it up like that to reveal the head. Menasaur does have a wicked head sculpt. I absolutely love this head sculpt, and he has light piping aplenty. So if you get the light piping going, you can get not only his eyes glowing, but the crest right here on his head glowing as well. Very, very cool looking head. It is a fantastic looking head that does a swivel. In robot mode, Menasaur is pretty darn large, but he has no real hands, as you can see. But he is filled with ratchety goodness. So his arms are on ratchets, and then ratcheting swivels, and more ratchets, and oh, so many ratchets. Legs, ratchets, swivels, more ratchets, ratchets everywhere. All of his gimmicks work in this mode as well. In fact, he has another gimmick. His chest opens up to reveal a spot for the robot mode for his little Minicon duder. His little Minicon transforms pretty easily, but doesn't like to stay transformed, though he does have arm articulation, oddly enough. So he could just slide right into the back or into the chest of Menasaur, which is technically makes him a breast master, I think, or a chest master. Though the only issue I have with this is that um, this really doesn't peg whole, this doesn't really peg closed at all. The pegs here are actually too big for the peg holes and they don't line up either. So yeah, it has a tendency to just open up on its own. The figure has this silly little work mode, which is just uh, splitting his legs apart, turning his legs around and collapsing him down. Yeah, it's not as intricate as Metroplexes, but or Gigolo Convoys, but it's still there, so that's a plus, I guess? As I said, he's a pretty big figure, and here he is next to MP10 Prime. He is almost the same size as MP10 Prime. That's a pretty big Voyager class figure. Overall, Menasaur is pretty cool, and is actually quite a bit of fun. He is unique, but I really don't like the fact that he doesn't have any real hands. That's just a personal thing. I hate no real hand syndrome. And he's very poseable. He looks great in robot mode. Don't bother putting him in vehicle mode. I really don't care for the excavation vehicle mode. It's kind of dumb and really, 
that it's very impractical. I would recommend picking this figure up if you find him for like five bucks. He's worth at least that. He is pretty cool. He's got some issues here and there, but both of them, most of them can be overlooked pretty easily. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will catch you next time.